Hello and welcome to the another video tutorial from Vishwas Coaching. My name is Vishwara Choudhury, your online tutor. So today I am going to discuss about the DNA packaging inside the chromosome and chromosome inside the nucleus of the cell. So if I say that cell, you, you know this thing that cell is a microscopic structure. So it is very small, it is very small structure. Now if I say that DNA is very long structure, so there must have some compaction so that the DNA can be adjusted inside the small structure of chromosome and chromosome inside the nucleus of the cell. So how that packaging is done? So let's start today's topic. As I have already here drawn one thing. So we all know this is the DNA structure. This is, if I say this is called the zooming structure. And this is the chromosome structure. This is a final compaction level of DNA inside the chromosome. So this is zoom out structure. So I am I'm, I'm just trying to uh, describe from zooming structure. So this is DNA, but if I zoom out this DNA, the double stranded structure cannot be visualized separately. And but you can see something like this kind of structure. This is called beads on a string. Beads on a string. So if you consider the string is the DNA, that is a fiber or thread like structure, there is small small beads okay, inside this loop region. So what is that bead? Also we can say this bead on a string structure is called chromatin structure, chromatin fiber. Chromatin fiber. If you can remember my last class, I have told that chromatin also if I consider the interface, interface of the cell, then you can see the DNA or chromosome structure is something like this. This is also called chromatin. But now if I say this is also called chromatin fiber, this is also true. This is chromatin fiber or beads on a string structure. This is beads and DNA is string. Now I just want to zoom this one unit of this big on a string structure. So if I zoom this thing, I can see something like this. This is bead and the string is and the string is something like this. Okay. So this is DNA, this is double stranded DNA, the string structure is double stranded DNA. Okay. This is double stranded DNA. And this is the bead structure that is also called nucleosome. So one unit of bead on a string is called nucleosome. Okay, or the core part of B on a string. This is the core part. I can say this is the core part. Now, DNA is wrapped around this bead structure. And if I say it will wrap for two times around this bead structure, so DNA will wrap two times. Two times. And what is the length of wrapped DNA? 147 nucleotide. Okay, this is called 147, this is 147 nucleotide. And now there is limited space so that I have to erase this thing. I hope you have understood this thing so that I am erasing it. Now, this chromatin fiber is consists of DNA as well as protein. So, so what type of protein is present? If I consider the protein part, there is a special type of protein called histone protein. Histone. Histone protein and histone 1 histone 2, histone 3 and histone 4 is the, are the types of histone protein. 
present here. And histone 2 is again divided into histone 2 A and histone 2 B. Okay? These are the histone protein. Now, if I consider the bead structure, bead structure is made up of four types of histone protein. One is histone 2 A, histone 2 B, histone 3, and histone 4. This is actually octamer structure. Octamer. Octa means 8. So you can see here the fourth. Now if I consider this is the this is the um, top view. So behind this thing, this is the top view, and behind this thing, there is another fourth histone to A, histone to B, histone 3, and histone 4. So 4 plus 4 equal to 8. Okay? Now so there is a protein-protein interaction between all these histone proteins and there is also DNA-protein interaction as well because DNA is wrapped around this histone so there must have some ionic interaction between DNA and protein so what is that ionic interaction? so as you know the DNA backbone is made up of sugar and phosphate so also you know the phosphate is negatively charged phosphate is negatively charged so this histone protein must contain the positively charged amino acids so that it can interact with the negatively charged phosphate backbone of DNA. So positively charged mainly the positively charged amino acid present inside the histone protein is lysine and arginine. These are all positively charged. So if I consider only the lysine structure, suppose this is the lysine structure, the, ly the amino acid lysine, NH3, There is CH2, 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 4 CH2. So I am taking whole 4. And after that, there is NH3 plus. Okay, so this plus and this minus will interact with each other. This is called ionic bond, ionic interaction. Okay, so this is how the interaction is stable. So what is the function of histone 1? This is not the part of the core protein or this is not the part of the nucleosome. So what is the function? So if I say that histone 1 is present here, suppose this is a histone 1, okay? So this is outside the core part but it actually holds the DNA, the incoming DNA and outgoing DNA from the nucleosome, okay? So that it acts as a clip so that the DNA cannot get separated. It holds the incoming and outgoing DNA. Okay? Now, you have no confusion about chromatin fiber and bead on string and nucleosome and ionic interaction and all. Now, this is, if I say this is the first level of compaction after this DNA string. This is, the diameter is 10 nanometer. 10 nanometer is the diameter. Okay. Now, if I consider the second form of compaction, this is the second form of compaction. So, this is the second form of compaction where the histone, histone uh, sorry, the nucleosome structure again coiled with each other to form another coil-like, more compacted coil-like structure and this coil-like structure is called solenoid. Okay, and the diameter is increased from 10 nanometer to 30 nanometer. In, in your textbook you can see there is a there is a mention about 30 nanometer fiber. So this is called 30 nanometer fiber. Further, this solenoid or the coil like structure again compacted again with each other to form the super compacted or super coil like structure, and the diameter final of diameter of the super coil structure is 700 nanometer. Okay, so this final level of compaction will create the most compacted structure that is the chromosome. So, I hope you have no doubt about this structure. So if I consider only one unit of this solenoid structure, then you can see there is six, there is six,
there is six big oil stream structure. So one unit of this solenoid structure is made up of six big oil stream structure. Suppose this is string. Okay, let me draw this with a different color so that you can differentiate between this B and string structure. Suppose this is B. Okay. So this is the top view. Okay. This is the top view. And if I if I see laterally, then you can see this enclosure structure. So I am seeing from the top view. Okay. This is something like this. So DNA is wrapped two times in the nucleosome structure. This is nucleosome. There are six nucleosome in per unit of solenoid structure. And there is one histone protein which take care, takes care of incoming and outgoing of DNA. So I hope this is clear to you. Okay. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel and do share with your friend this discussion so that they can also understand what is going on inside the DNA, DNA and uh, histone proteins. Okay. So thanks for now.